Now you find yourself in front of the Jardin du Midi, created by the landscape artists Michel and Christine Penner. Michel Penner describes for us how this project was carried out. So here we are in what we decided to call the Jardin du Midi. These gardens are fairly exceptional in the respect that they were created over the local train rails. Also, they are a new type of garden, that is to say, hanging gardens, and they are open to the public. Thanks to a new policy by the SNCF, the National Train Company, to negotiate with the municipalities, certain urban areas which were hitherto inaccessible have, thanks to a new technology consisting in the construction of concrete foundation slabs, been opened up to exploitation and construction. This technology allows certain very well-situated urban spaces to be transformed into developed public areas. This is the case in Vincennes. Where on the local line, which was in fact splitting into two lines, we were able to rebuild on three areas of 3,000 meters each, nearly an entire hectare in all. Nearly a hectare of gardens given back to the local people, the inhabitants. Public gardens that were completely inaccessible and were even schisms in the city, spaces that cut the city from its other parts. In this Jardin du Midi, we accompanied the entire central canal, which is a show of animated water with these two huge benches that run the entire length of the garden, so that each person may decide where he feels best. At the same time, they do in fact allow for the distancing of individual seating as much as possible, as well as visually giving the impression of expanding and enlarging the gardens, and give support to the profusion of creeping plants that are abundant here. So, the Jardin du Midi, to describe it, first of all, I'll start with the choice of its name. The choice of Jardin du Midi is very, very natural, as we have the Rue du Midi running precisely in extension of the garden's axis. And so we decided to go with the seam, which is solar, somewhere between setting, rising in the south. Hence, this garden is highly sculpted, styled and geometric. It goes up because the local rail rises, just at this point from underneath the public square of the Hotel de Ville. So the garden rises naturally. To make the most of this environment, to bring out its aesthetic quality as much as possible, we imagine this central canal with just a little bit of water, so that children might freely and safely play in it, with shallow steps going down, making a quiet sound effect of running water. All this creates a large, pleasant and fun space for everyone. Then, from one end to the other of this canal, at regular intervals, there are squares with highly colorful vegetation. Indeed, the objective was polychromatic squares. We wanted to create a joyful ambience by incorporating color and the use of the squares, which do indeed add a sort of whimsical touch. The blossoming flowers create a contrast between the natural and artificial colors of this garden. When creating the concept for a public garden, as I was saying, one must take into account the way the garden will be exploited. But there is nothing more inspiring than to see the children taking full advantage of this space. Lovers can meet here. Young people, lots of young people come here in groups. So there is really a multitude of ways this space can be used, and the ultimate pleasure of landscape artists is to see all types of people enjoying their creations. Your audio-guided visit is now over. We sincerely hope you enjoyed this architectural tour of the city of Vincennes, describing its history and inhabitants as well. To get to the nearest underground and local train stations, please consult your map. Thank you, and we hope to see you again soon.